Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Judy Inge Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol, Season 3. We have our first official description for this season and some information, so let's break it down. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing a review today. This one's going to be doing a review for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. This one we're going to be talking about Season 3, guys. Yes, you heard me. Season 3 already. <laughs> season 2 hasn't even aired yet. We already have some information for Season 3, so we're going to go over it. This is official information. We have a description for Season 3 of Daryl Dixon. So, um, we're going to talk about it. We're going to go through it, go over what we can, of course, based off the information we have, and give our thoughts afterwards. So let's get right into it. Airing on AMC and AMC Plus in 2025, The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon Season 3 tracks Carol and Daryl as they continue their journey towards home and the ones they love. Per official synopsis, as they struggle to find their way back, the path takes them farther astray, leading them through distant lands and ever-changing unfamiliar conditions as they witness the various effects of the Walker apocalypse. All right, so season three of Daryl Dixon. Now, obviously, if you didn't know, it's renewed. Season three uh, is going to be happening next year, 2025, and filming, I believe, is taking place here soon. I couldn't tell you when, but it's at some point this year. So we're going to get filming for season three of Daryl Dixon. That'll be coming up next year, probably fall of next year, 2025. Um, and, uh, yeah, that'll be in Spain, which we also know it'll be in Spain. So in terms of this description, um, a few things, very odd decision to release a description for this season before season two even releases, because we now know a few things. The war with Janae must be over because they're on their way back home. Second off, we know that Carol's still there, so that's another thing. Um, and we also know that they're trying to get home, but there is another detour that happens, Spain. So... <laughs> um, I, I I mean, look, I'm like trying to find the words, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so season three is in Spain, got it. Uh, Carol's still with Daryl, got it. By the words of Norman and Melissa, it sounds like season three is still called The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. Really bad idea, they should change that, that title sucks. Um, but I will say this. Spain is going to be a nice location. It's going to be a nice thing to see. Definitely, I think it's going to be a nice scenery. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of visuals they have because the show is very well done. But I also heard from Norman Reedus, based off the SDCC panel, that Spain was his idea, which therefore leads me to thinking, which obviously this is just an assumption, that Norman Reedus does not want to end this show yet. He doesn't. They probably had a version of this show where this was just two to three seasons and, you know, Daryl goes home and that's the end of it. But Norman wants to take a bit more time to go to different countries, so they're going to let him do whatever he wants to do. Um, and they're going to drag out this Rick and Daryl reunion as far as they can, as long as Norman wants to keep traveling the world. Is basically the message here. You know what I'm saying? Because Spain was Norman's idea. It wasn't a writing decision. Norman confirmed that at the panel. You can watch the panel for yourselves on YouTube to get that information. But Norman said that he was the one that came up with Spain. And it sounds like Spain will be a location for season four, which means that even in 2026, 2027, this show will still be going on and Daryl will still be traveling the world. So this show is around to stay for a while, at least until about 2030 is around when we can probably expect this show to be concluded, if that, you know what I'm saying? So getting the information now that they are trying to go back home and that a trip interrupts them and they they end up in Spain is kind of laughable to me. I got to be honest, it's kind of laughable that, you know, they're sitting there, they're trying to get back home and the, and the story of season 3 is that the journey home continues, which is the tagline that they're already putting for season 3 is that the journey home continues. I'm just like like are we going to go to more locations after this season, like in season four, which I think is also supposed to be in Spain? Like, God knows at this rate, but it sounds like this show is a mega, let's try to get back home for like four to five seasons type of show, which in concept is ridiculous. I mean, I'm sure y'all could agree with me. It's ridiculous. The story and the plot of them trying to get back home and they keep getting caught up in different countries, fucking weird. I mean, honestly, but... You know, again, they're going to do it. I mean, there's not much you can do about it. Um, you know, we're going to have to just kind of sit back and realize that this show is, which I've mentioned many times, 
It's a travel series with Norman Reedus set in the Walking Dead world. That is exactly what this is. So, you know, it's more travel, more stuff like that. In terms of Spain and the visuals of that place, I'm definitely excited to see what they got for us with that because I'm sure that will look good. But that right there, y'all, is a description for Season 3 of Daryl before Season 2 of Daryl releases. So, what do you think of that? Post comments down below. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe button to miss any of the videos of The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead of you. Don't come, guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys very soon for more videos of The Walking Dead universe. Enjoy the rest of the day, guys, and peace out.